He's won Grammys. He's performed all over the world. This is Jim Lauderdale. So hey, yesterday, George Strait recorded Where the Sidewalk Ends and King of Broken Hearts. Number one hit, number one hit, number one hit for other people. Halfway down, just to get started. When the Beatles were first on Ed Sullivan, it was like hearing magic. We'd be struggling playing every gig we could. We became friends. I was like, wow, who's this guy? I mean, the guy had the charisma and the, the talent and the looks. And to this day, I still don't realize why he is not a mainstream country star. He seemed at this point this bad luck guy. You know, I'd had this thing of like, I just want a record deal. That is going to make everything all right and it was not happening. I've had my share of darkness and I'm headed towards the light. I just kind of said to Ralph Stanley, could we do a whole album together? It was a really important record. Lo and behold, we got the Grammy. It was incredible. Then I just got this call. I lost you. I lost you. We get to the gig and Elvis says, Jim and I have written this song we're going to do tonight. <laughs> Jim and I were writing these songs together. Tiger and the monkey went to war. For someone who's so steeped in country music and bluegrass like Jim is, he's able to do other things like that. He's my favorite part of Americana music. Quirky, talented, and amazing. Jim feeds off chaos. He makes an album every 10 minutes, coming in to write with just like giant pieces of pulp just all over him. It was like, what did you do to the noni tree, Jim? <laughs> it kind of goes from the ridiculous to the sublime. The king of broken hearts doesn't ask much from his friends. Hell, I'm a fan of Jim Lauderdale. I'll take a bullet for him. I'll take his songs, too. <laughs> And scene.